Greetings, this is Dr. Mike Yuan bringing you episode 10 out of 10 of the Advanced Young Tai Chi Corrections Program. Before we begin, don't forget to subscribe to the channel so that you can continue to be updated as to the latest information. I also want to remind you that these 10 episodes and the accompanying updates serve as a free introductory webinar to this work. And in this final episode, I will lay out the master plan of how I think we should move forward. In all the previous videos on the Advanced Young Tai Chi Corrections, you've heard my story, how time after time I met with obstacles that just didn't seem to work out. I'm happy to report that all these decades of struggle have finally revealed a, an order, a grander organization that in part has manifested in the advanced young Taiji Corrections training from the point of view of the seeker of the highest level of Taiji Tren begins with a seed. That seed is a passion for the practice. Beneath that is a yearning within yourself for self-perfection. Taiji Tren, a vehicle through which this self-perfection can be pursued and achieved. Everything worthwhile in life requires a bid. Bid to recovering and reviving the deep secrets of Yang Taiji Tren in your life begin with this self-recognition. So let's begin with the program itself and then I'll let the dialogue naturally unfold. Episode 9 of 10 was published in December. Now is March. In the interim from December to now March, a lot of assimilation had to take place. I had to take a strong look as to whether I would actually be able to deliver in terms of a training methodology of fulfillment and attainment I've been speaking of all along. For each of you to experientially grasp the magnitude of Grandmaster Yang Shoujung's attainment, both his extraordinary awareness and capability, his embodied transcendence, his ability through the art to embody yin yang shangji, which is yin yang mutual interrelated, not just in his Taiji Chuan skill, but in his consciousness, his embodiment of the essential spirit and wisdom of over 5,000 years of Chinese civilization. That's how I see it. It's that big. And so in the, the training, which is advanced, but open to anyone, beginner to master, to enrich your practice, needs to be placed front and center as to what the goal is. It's not to become an expert fighter, although if fighting is your proclivity, most certainly enhance that. The common denominator that everyone shares is the total body connectivity, the fan tan li, the re repelling power that you could say in terms of application to your life has two components. One is martial arts, which is to gain superior physical and mental capability. And the other we could say would be for fulfillment of your healing and spiritual existence. Both need power. And the total body power, therefore, can be applied to either and or both. So the training, in spite of being couched within the Taiji trend, especially with the pushing hands and application martial arts context, is not being done for fighting, but being done to make you a more self-aware, diversified, and overall capable 
human being. And I believe that Taiji Chuan, beyond the martial art history of the Yang family, has already proven itself to be extraordinarily effective in helping people develop in these realms. The biggest challenge I had the last few months after opening the YouTube Advanced Human Training channel in September of last year, and then subsequently the private Facebook group for Advanced Young Tai Chi Corrections in December of last year, after beginning to engage with so many of you, the biggest consideration I had to take into account was the diversity. This master plan has to accommodate four main groups of people. First are those who subscribe to the channel. Second are those who sign up for the private Facebook group but remain silent members. Don't get involved in the discussion but simply enjoy the material as it comes through. The third are those who make commentaries, getting involved in the discussions and building the dialogue. And then the fourth will be those who take the paid trainings. And for those who will take part in the paid trainings, we also have two groups. One that I call the accelerator group and the other that I call the Bi Guan group. Let me explain that in a second. But first, explain the rationale for why I feel this is important. The world has changed and we're increasingly capable of, of connecting up. It's only natural that to really make use of all the resources to self-develop that you connect with the world. And whereas your seed passion might just be to learn some of the deeper secrets and master the practice for yourself, the mission of this organization is to promulgate the certified teachers and ready them to become community leaders of a potentially massive organization to elevate the consciousness among 250 million Tai Chi practitioners worldwide. So the business end of it has been taken into consideration, and I'll speak of the chaotic organization and management paradigm that we'll be implementing at the later phase. It's when you know your role and you play your role that initiatives find success. And a key differentiation needs to be made here between what I affectionately call the wise elders, who are the population generally made up of those of you who have decades of experience, who are of older age now, a different life stage, and love to talk about the Taiji trend and are quite naturally then interested in the secrets as they become presented in this program, yet for one reason or another are not in the position to take part in the training. Now it's very important that you be honored uh, just as you have been thus far in the private Facebook page as, we, as you share your experiences to be recognized for that contribution alone in building the dialogue and troubleshooting the various issues that have come up regarding authenticity, who's got the real thing, solving the mystery of the different styles that are claiming to be the one and only and so forth. Invaluable, your contribution. Yet, what you would do with the secrets once they come out, we must acknowledge as well, is very different 
from what someone who signs up for the paid trainings will do with it. Those of you who are agreeing to invest yourself to the degree of getting a professional certification need to have a framework to nurture and support this quest, which ultimately is not something that's etched in stone. It's a bid. You've got to be living a myth. As I've mentioned, Yang Shoujung had to be living in order to achieve the remarkable degree of embodied transcendence of yin and yang, of this world and beyond that I witnessed he did. That is the highest level. It is the Jiang Sang Feng level. And in the other Chinese research that I've been doing over the last 40 years, it has another name called Sheng Ren Zhi Lu, which is way of the universal human. Sheng Ren being the most important but misunderstood word in the Chinese language. The Sheng Ren were the three, San Sheng in history, uh, Confucius for Confucianism, Lao Tzu for Taoism, and Hui Neng for Buddhism, making up patriarchal roots of the last 700 plus years of Chinese culture and history. This is the standard that we've been soaking in in the private Facebook discussions. It's not just about rooting. It's not just about what teacher has it and who's the best. This is the level of existence that Yang Shoujong lived that I wonder whether he was able to articulate. And so during that first meeting in 1981, part of what he imparted to me was that standard. Even though there's a very systematized method of training that will be offered, at the upper end, there's still the question of what can you, the modern seeker, do with this information? To what degree, even though I pass it on to you, can you actualize it, manifest it in extraordinary awareness and capability in your life? There's got to be proof, a before and after transformation that all can witness. And that is indeed part of the big one training. But let me go back again. This is apparently a little bit of a difficult thing for me to explain. But the reason for the separation, to make a clean separation between the wise elders and those of you who join either the accelerator group or the big one group, is energy. We're walking such a tightrope that we need all the energy to help you train your focus so that you can make this breakthrough. There's a Chinese saying, Gong Fu Bu Zai Duo Shao, or Zai Jing, which means it's not how much you learn of something. But it's Jing, it's how well you know its essence. And Jing, interestingly, also in Chinese science and medicine, is the sperm essence. So it's to what it's the quality, the vital essence of your being that you need to boost up as part of the objective of the training, to build your personal power so that you possess the self-awareness and the control to do something with the techniques. To be a bystander and to be privy to the process and so forth takes away from the people who are in this quest. And so while you're honored and while, and I'm confident that in the future, in the next phase, once this phase of training that I'm about to explain finds its natural end, the information 
of the secrets will naturally leak out. I'm just assuming that. And therefore, the wise elders, as well as the general public, will become privy to this information. But at this point, if you become privy to the same information that the trainees are, then it'll somehow take away from their resources. If someone knows you're doing something, it affects how you do it. And you see this in business. Successful business plans are fulfilled when you keep the key ideas to yourself until the plan is in action or fulfilled. So no offense or distrust to the wise elders, but you need to know your role that right now let the trainees engage in their mythical quest to actualize the improbable. At some point you will hear about it, but at this critical time they need to be on their own and investing all their energies trying to convert the methodologies to actual understanding and skill in their bodies and lives. And yet there are two groups of trainees. Biquan is a term used in spirituality and meditation, which means B means to close off. Guan in, in this context refers to the senses. So you can imagine a recluse or a monk isolating themselves from the world to meditate, to drive their awareness to deeper levels of apprehension of the world and their existence. The Biguan group will be getting my full and undivided personal attention and must agree to not only the rigors of the training, but also to the responsibility of leadership should you fulfill your mission of grasping the Zhongdian, the main point of De Fa, which means to find the method, to have found the knack, to have found the way of Yang Shou Zhong's advanced corrections, to find the way through and to actually achieve these skills yourself. This compared to the accelerated group who pays for trainings as you go and does not have that long-term plan commitment, isn't obligated to this long-term commitment to both achieve personally and promulgate the secrets to the public. The rough framework, to back up a little, there's the pushing hands and application side and then there's the perfection of the solo form training side. And they complement each other in terms of two main layers. Layer one, which will be imparted to the accelerator group, is dedicated to perfecting the solo form at the layer one level. That is to take the Tai Chi that you already practice and to incorporate squareness, to make the moves square. You may remember that I had said that I would not do the yangs, the injustice of demonstrating myself. But now that the layered nature of the training has been uncovered through the Facebook dialogue, I feel that my form may serve that purpose, uh, introductory training reference for those who are seeking to developing the total connectivity, total body strength. And from that, the Fantan Li, the repelling power, which I want to remind you could either be applied for healing and spirituality if that's your bent or to martial arts if that's your bent, or to all combined if that's your bent.
also in terms of the, the pushing hand secrets, the five part curriculum, they'll also be presented in two layers. So the solo form will be presented in two layers. Layer one called connecting and breathing, which I demonstrate in my form. We will go into great depth in the weekly Zoom clinics that will be available to you when you sign up. The focus of which will be a mastering of form, which will only go up to the first cross hands, but encourage you to practice it both left and right. So again, Kung Fu Pu Zai Duo Shao or Zai Jing, the skill will not come from learning a lot, but from drilling down into the depths of few, of a little. Reminds me of Yang Cheng Fu, the story which goes that when he was young, he was a little resistant to training, so they just had him perfect grass bird's tail, and from that he grasped the essence. Much better than the whole form on a service level. And the same will go with pushing hands to complement the two layers of the solo form. The second layer, which will be taught to the Bi Guan group, the first layer, which will be taught to accelerator group and the Bi Guan group. In the pushing hands and applications, layer one will be available to the accelerator group and the Bi Guan group, and layer two of the pushing hands to the Bi Guan group. At this time, I'm giving this project one year to fulfill to get a foundation so that you get all the tools you need to become self-sufficient. Remember, let's not be unrealistic. You're not going to pull the body together and develop that root in one year's time. If you have a lot of experience and you're already very well versed in, in your training over many years, perhaps you could. I'm not going to rule that out. But for most people, I would say the goal of this one year training for the big one, which will consist of six months of what you might call a master's level work, and then six months of doctoral level work. Part of what you're going to produce are actual workshops that will be put on the market and promoted under your name. The workshops will consist of you sharing your story the things that you did to find your way through to secrets from your starting point. None of this will be required of the accelerator group. You're doing good enough work in receiving the layer one solo form training and the layer one pushing hands and applications training, which in essence will consist of becoming proficient in the physical mechanics of the training, which leaves me to share with you how layer one and layer two of the solo form differ. Here's a little bit of preview to understand the difference between what you're getting from the Biguan compared to the accelerator. The layer two training consists of learning the connecting and breathing which is prerequisite, it's the basic physical structure. But then the corrections that Yang Shoujong gave me in 1981, as Grandmaster Yang had explained to me, the original system passed down from Yang Luchan is one form with a series of corrections. And the corrections he gave me are consistent with that paradigm, that idea. So what's needed in this first phase, which I estimate will take about six months to a year, and I don't think much longer because of all the advantages we have with technology, uh, information, access, and so forth. Once you gain the tools to be self-sufficient with your toolbox to be able to practice 
to your heart's content as much or as little as you wish, which is how we define self-sufficiency. It's clear that the focus is not on rooting power. Remember, this professional teacher's training focuses on freedom. Now, finally, to the organizational structure to support the growth. It's not going to happen on its own. We see people who receive trainings, they may gain insights, they may actually uh, achieve quite a bit of skill but the more above the norm the average you become the more isolated you become there are a lot of advanced Tai Chi practitioners but there's no platform for them set up that allows them to feel a member of the world community to have the outlet to share their insights to the Tai Chi community to help not only bridge the gap, but to help elevate the entire consciousness surrounding the standard of the work, which in our organization we acknowledge as being possessed by the fourth generation eldest son, Yang Shou Jung. The age of the guru is over. How that translates to this endeavor, recognize the power of organization of working together in community. For this, I resort to what's called the chaotic organization and management paradigm. A good example of chaotic organization would be the Visa credit card company, where their central headquarters consists of relatively few people. The power is decentralized away from that headquarters to the banks and other business entities in the world that use the Visa card. Every bank is responsible for their own marketing. Every bank is responsible for providing services to their customers and advertising the services to the customers so that the customers will sign up for their Visa card with their company brand on it. This strategy will be applied to especially the B1 graduates who will essentially become self-sufficient, be able to do their own marketing to their selected audience to design their own services but just as with the visa company to the banks to receive support in how to do this and sponsorship. Imagine yourself as a B1 graduate who's grasped the essence of layer two in both the solo form and the pushing hands. The essence meaning that you know you have something. You know that you can just feel directly and it, it comes out in transformation that's taken place in your unified body, soul, mind, and spirit. And you've documented it through your thesis and dissertation. You have workshops that you've already created as part of your training, which basically consists of s summarizing bits and pieces of your personal story, your personal journey to self-discovery. Healing and improvement in your relationships, in your professional life, real life success. And alongside other cohorts on this path, you're part of a network that I'll always remain a part of, but that you will run. And during this year, even though there will be anonymity, we're going to publicize this epic journey that some of you are on to prepare the Tai Chi community that there's something coming. For the accelerator group, a similar type of promotion will be made of the layer one training in the solo form and they're pushing hands in the application. But so in summary, the master plan takes into regard 
the different populations who are involved in the training. Foremost recognizes Yang Shoujong's standard and the secret methods that he imparted to me. But it also takes into regard that there are levels of interest, levels of commitment, and that without the right combination of forces, there's very little likelihood of success. So I wish to thank you for bearing with this explanation. It's beyond perhaps what you've ever heard before in terms of consideration of bring out a cause, but just look at the state of Taiji Chuan today and maybe your own experience of how so little headway can be made against the existing standard and structures. So thank you so much. Highly encourage you to go the next step if that's what your calling is and sign up for either the Big One or the Accelerator trainings. This is Dr. Mike. Don't forget to subscribe, leave a comment either below or sign up for the Facebook group and become a member and share it with people who you think might be interested in this. Dr. Mike, see you in the next installment. Take care.